shit, shit. Where's my pepper spray? Where's my pepper spray? Stop! 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 Help! 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 You need to back up. You need to back up. You really need to back up. One of the most commonly owned and recommended self-defense tools is pepper spray, but it's really important for you to know how to use pepper spray before you find yourself in an active situation. So today we're going to be showing you our five top recommended tips on how to properly use pepper spray. So tip number one is to be ready. You want to make sure that you have your pepper spray in your hand ready to use so that when you're in the moment, you're not fumbling through your bag, trying to pull out clothes, magazines, whatever is in there to try and find the pepper spray. In these attacks, you don't have the luxury of time. So always make sure that your pepper spray is in hand and ready to go. Tip number two is to make sure that you're holding your pepper spray firmly. It's really natural when people are holding a canister of spray to want to spray this way, but this is actually a lot more flimsy because it doesn't allow you to aim as well. The best way to hold your pepper spray is to hold your hand in a fist with your thumb on the nozzle. And to demonstrate this, you'll see that it's a lot harder to swat your hand away when you're holding a fist versus this way. <laughs> Tip number three is to hold and aim. When you're using pepper spray, you want to make sure that your thumb is firmly on the nozzle and you're holding it down to create a continuous stream. Seeing that stream is going to allow you to aim more properly. So to demonstrate, as you can see here, I'm holding down firmly and I'm having a continuous spray and it allows me to aim directly in someone's eyes. Tip number four might seem pretty obvious, but when you're using pepper spray, you wanna make sure that your eyes are open. It's very natural that if you're using a tool that's meant to hurt someone else, that you might be afraid, you might not wanna see and you'll close your eyes as you're spraying. Other times people say that they're afraid that if it's windy outside, the spray might come back into their face. But something to know about pepper sprays now is that they're actually made of a gel substance that allows for that continuous stream and it makes it more wind resistant as well but the most important thing to know about keeping your eyes open is to know where your attacker is at all times being able to see them will allow you to again aim properly and to be aware of your surroundings and where you might need to run to if you need to go to a safe place and the final tip is spray don't stay a lot of times people think that when you're using pepper spray, you have to be very close to someone's face in order to use it. But because of the continuous stream, it actually allows you to spray at your attacker from a distance. So if you see someone that's coming towards you, you wanna make sure that you're backing up. You can hold your hand up and say, hey, make sure you're staying away from me. But if they continue to approach you, that's when you can do the spray. So the last thing that your attacker is going to see before you spray them is you standing right in front of them. So it's possible that they might tumble forwards towards you, lunge at you. So you wanna make sure that you're stepping out of the way, let them use their own momentum to fall forwards. And by stepping away, it also allows you to survey your surroundings. You can find a crowded street and run towards safety if you need to. As with all of our tips, you wanna make sure that you're practicing this actively at home. So we actually use these practice canisters in this video. Hudson was not harmed, and as you can see, he is not blind. And so these practice canisters actually contain water instead of pepper spray. It's really easy to find these anywhere on the internet, but we actually got these on Amazon. It's about $10 per bottle, and we'll drop the link below in our caption, or you can find it in our bio. But again, it's super important for you to practice using pepper spray before you find yourself in these types of situations. So for more safety tips, be sure to follow Asians Are Strong on Instagram or on YouTube. Like and subscribe.